<laughs> what is it? Super excited. Oh, there's a little bug on me. A little bug. Can you see it? Yeah. There you go. Okay. I'm so excited. I love like opening these boxes. It's like seriously like, Christmas to me. I love it so much. <gasps> What is this? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I was just saying. So very excited as soon as I open this um, like the package it comes in the parcel bag it like smelled it actually smells like almost like baby products to me like baby um, like baby wash or something so I'm really excited to see what's in here so we're excited so very cool let's see if I can get this open peek inside. I'm going to try not to let everything fall out this time. Ooh, got more purple vibes going on. So, I'm going to put this here. Alright, so we got our pamphlet. Let's give it a read. Queen of Compassion. Okay, so here is this um, little little spoiler alert don't look if you don't want to see what's in here let me just give you a quick little snapshot so you can pause it and read it if you do want to see there's that very cool let's see we have a chamomile another beautiful one to add to your book of shadows page or in for your book, book of shadows book and I had a couple people comment on my last video saying that, you know, they're bummed how like the amazing um, flower book of shadows notebook they had in their um, witch's moon box was too small for like their normal book of shadows pages. But I mean, if you get a big book of shadows book, it's like, it's like a couple hundred dollars sometimes, especially if you have like really nice hand pressed paper. So obviously that's a little bit out of the range of what they can include in a box. But I mean, they it fits these guys perfectly, so that's super cool. And somebody also commented, um, I forgot their name. I'll have to post it down here if I remember to look it up. But they said that you could always um, scan it, resize, it, and then print it out again and put it in, the, in that book of shadows if you want to. For me, I feel like the flower paper is just too pretty to cover up with a piece of paper, so I'm just going to be probably using that more as like a. Um, is more of a like field journal and like a collection, you know, for different flowers and different um, herbal specimens and maybe actually the Witch's Moon commented as well saying that they use like an oracle card, they put their oracle card reading of the day in there and carry things around there and, and like carry it, carry things like that around with them each day in their little journal. So love those ideas. Let's get into it. Ooh. Love. Ooh, definitely compassion vibes like very calming nurturing serene lavendery vibes so let's see what do we want to do first oh there's like a few little things in here so I'm gonna pull out the chamomile nice big bag of chamomile that is awesome chamomile tea is, tea is like so awesome I love putting chamomile in like spell bags for like anxiety um, I put it in, like, if you want to go check out my little, um, one of these corners, I did, like, a little spell doll for my niece and, um, put, put some chamomile, some calming herbs in there so that when she holds her, like, little lovey stuffed animal doll, she can, um, smell those herbs and it will calm her down. So that's another great idea, like a little gift idea or even for your little ones. So look at this little baggie. It almost, like, doesn't feel like anything's in there, but, oh, I, I can feel something in there. I think I know what it is. I just like love how cute these little bags are though. I use them for spells all the time. Oh cute. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold this up. It's a little heart charm and on the back it 
says, breathe. Very sweet. So another great thing you can either put in like a spell bag or like a little charm bag or anything like that. Even keep with you in your bra or something, which I like to do all the time. Got our incense. I really need to like make little tags for these. Cause I want to put them all together. This, this smells like baby powder to me. <sighs> Sorry about the dog again. Like it's just getting used to me being out here again. So I might bark a little bit, but yeah, it gives me like very like baby powder vibes. This is like really rem reminding me of like a nurturing type box, like almost like just snuggling in with your little ones or your fur babies or anything like that. And just relaxing, kind of just enjoying the calmness before the spring and like that new blooming cycle is beginning. So we have another little pretty satin bag. Like in lavender, like a very lavendery color. Ooh, some rose quartz. Very pretty. This is almost like, like I just saw it and almost like a coffin like shape. Oh, it's really pretty though. Nice and pink too. Like I like how actually pink it is because sometimes you'll get rose quartz and it's kind of hard to tell. It almost looks like clear quartz, like a cloudy clear quartz because it's like really light. I like that a lot. Ooh, this one has like a little bit of like spillage it almost looks like. Oh bird. So I'm like leaning over so much I feel like my head is cut off and I'm sitting on a pine cone. Ow. Alright. So. So if y'all haven't heard, I say this in every video right now because I really want y'all to get take part in this. I think it's going to be so fun and so exciting and I really want to see who is interested but I'm going to be doing an Astara ritual on the 19th it's gonna be released on the 19th and it's gonna be like a face or a facebook a youtube premiere video so we'll be able to chat live together when it first airs and then you can if you get the um, fairy attraction kit from the tiny cauldron which i'll link below i bought one as well and it should be getting to me soon so i'm very excited but if you go buy one of those i have a coupon with the code b for 15 percent off and the fairy attraction kits are also on also on sale right now so very exciting they're like really really a great price like an amazing price for what you get and you get everything you need especially if you're first like just getting into fae work which i am i'm just now starting to delve into fae like work, working with the fae and fairies and i'm going to be inviting them into my garden space to help care and protect and just kind of be like little garden guardians and enjoying their presence in my space there because I don't want to I'm not at the point where I want to invite them into my home quite yet but I would love for them to just you know to have that energy and that presence in my garden that my new flower garden that I'm starting up so I'll get back to this I'm gonna roll it oh ooh, look at that it's like very like rose quartzy color almost like a mauvey blushy pink it looks more pink in the camera to me right now I also have night shift on but to me that's why but it's like almost like has like a little bit more of like a purpley tint to it on like in person so very pretty I actually really really like that color much more enjoyable to me than just like a like a baby pink kind of color y'all know I usually only use black white and gold candles I couldn't help but like keep the Gaia candle from one of the last last month's boxes I think it was a witch's moon box I'm in love with it so much and I actually have a story um, I might tell y'all in a later video, but, um, it has to do with, like, I've been having kind of, like, heart problems and something that, like, something amazing that happened to me during, like, I did a ritual for it and I haven't had problems anymore, so that is amazing. Let's see the open our, let's see. So this is, like, a smaller bottle. Oh, a smaller um, oil bottle than the Roots usually has, but it is, ooh, Lotus Magical Anointing Oil. And look at, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you before I shake it, but look at that. It has like a gradient. You can definitely see there's chamomile in there. And then I wonder if that's, it almost looks like blue, but like butterfly pea or something which is amazing. Butterfly pea is used to like traditionally, it's used in like Asian, like, uh, I think Chinese people use it to um, color rice and different things. So you can even put it in like lemonade and make like a blue lemonade, but very pretty. I'm gonna shake it. 
Okay, so maybe it's actually the bottle that's blue. Yeah, okay, so blue. So it's actually like the bottle that is like a gradient. I've actually never seen that yet. I think I've seen it on another unboxing, but very, very neat. Mmm, I love sweet smelling oils, and this one is definitely sweeter. More sweet than like florally smelling, so I love that. Very cool, I love that. Like I just love that gradient. Look how pretty that is. At first I was thinking like, wow, I'm surprised like everything stayed in the bottom together without being shaken up, but, but it didn't, it's the bottle. It still has like kind of bluey looking flowers though. So our last item, what is it? Super excited. Oh, there's a little bug on me. A little bug. Can you see it? Yeah. There you go. Okay. I'm so excited. I love like opening these boxes. It's like seriously like Christmas to me. I love it so much. <gasps> what is this? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I was just saying. Oh my god. <gasps> this speaks to my soul because oh my goodness this is so precious to me i say that i don't keep statues but like this is something that i would definitely keep because and like i said in my last box the guided um or what was ascended guides for the witch's moon this month and i was saying how my grandmother was a buddhist and she died maybe over 10 years ago now yeah, and um, she was very, very important in my life. And she was like the strongest woman I know. I mean, both my grandmothers, my nons and my grandma are like the strongest women I know both. Grew up on farms and just are the hardest workers, are the strongest, like most independent women. And I, it's, it's just amazing. You know, like I, I'm so, so lucky to have grown up around them. And this is so special to me because it totally, like I'm gonna, this is gonna go on an ancestral altar for sure for me, even if that's not what it's really intended for in this box, but that's amazing. Look at that, beautiful. And it has like a nice velvet bottom and then like kind of like pinky lotus flower, but amazing. This looks like a pusa to me. If you know anything about Buddhism, maybe you know, you've heard that, that goddess name, but yeah, like that, that just like blew me away. And I kind of had to scroll past really quickly in a box, like an unboxing from um, another fellow YouTuber. And I like try not to look so, so hard, but I did not see this. And I'm so, so in love with this. So pretty. Thank you so much, Witch's Moon. Like you have, I like, it's kind of funny to me that like, both of the boxes I've gotten so far from The Witch's Moon have really reminded me of my grandmother. And that's just like super, super special to me. I hold that so close to my heart. So very awesome unboxing or box from The Witch's Roots. I love it. Y'all know this is like the first box I ever received. And I usually like love them. They usually have like their big chunky oils and just they're nice big bags of herbs and I just I love this box so much it is definitely on my I mean all the boxes like it are you know I wouldn't be subscribed to them if I didn't totally respect and just love everything like the companies that put them together and everything about them but yeah this the witch's roots definitely has a special place in my heart especially being a green witch so I'm gonna read to us like a little top section of the pamphlet. So, there are many times along our journey that we find ourselves flustered and unbalanced due to the energy of others and inf infiltrating our space or simply because we are not providing enough attention to our state of emotional, physical, and energetic self. We know that working with and embracing the feminine goddess energy is an ongoing and intimate process that is vital in understanding our ability to create beauty in ritual or day-to-day -day tasks and experiences. In this very special collection, we work with both our both both herbal influences and the energies of a very bright, powerful ancest ascended master, Kuan Yin. 
Kwan Yin. Okay, so that's like kind of the end of their like little top piece. And I'm gonna read a little bit actually more about the Kwan Yin statue. So that's number three on there. To accompany chamomile, we are so thrilled to include a Kwan Yin statue to this collection to bring energies of com compassion, love, femininity, as well as embracing elements of the goddess. Although, although of great significance throughout the Far East, Kwan Yin has become a prominent female ancestor, oh my gosh, I keep saying when I say ancestor, ascended master throughout the world. Kwan Yin brings the energy of acceptance, well-being, love, and strength to those who connect with her. As you work with Kuan Yin, allow your heart to open and be fulfilled. Resonate with her ability to provide ease of mind and spirit, bringing a delicate touch of the divine to your rituals and work. So that is so beautiful. The Lotus Magic, Lotus Magical Anointing Oil says we have created this Lotus Magical Anointing Oil with the intention of sustaining peace of mind throughout hard and chaotic times on your path. Y'all know I'm going through that right now. Crazy, crazy year but still so blessed, like loving, loving every minute of it <laughs> as much as I can. As you anoint your skin, jewelry, or ritual tools, visualize the vibrant lavender colored light surrounding you. We have en enchanted this magical anointing oil with the jasmine, with jasmine and chamomile oils, as well as chamomile and blue lotus herbs. So it is blue lotus in there and that's really, really cool. We have also included a special mixture of our Noble Truths magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of this oil. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, the incense sticks was in the Awakening Ritual Incense Sticks. Let's see, so let's walk through your surroundings. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, oh, and the Affirmation Talisman with pouch. So like the little, um, the little heart that we got. Um, we have placed a small affirmation talisman within a purple pouch inscribed on the back of this pewter heart. Oh, inscribed on the back of this pewter heart is the word breathe. Place this among your everyday things to, car to carry with you or simply gift this to someone who may need its energy at this, at this time. That's really beautiful as well. So very compassionate and giving. Let's see, so um, of course the grimoire artwork is created by A. E. Alden. I want to touch on that and appreciate the what goes into creating those beautiful works of art. Um, and a vibrancy mini spell candle. Intention of enhancing the vibrant energy of the goddess within your space. As you sip over the flame, allow any jud judgments or perceptions regarding your current realities to disappear. Embrace your ability to love and connect with the beautiful here and now affirmation i easily connect with the goddess energy and know that each delicate step i take is for my greater good i trust so very very beautiful love that so much the witch's roots love 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 it so if you don't um follow me over on instagram go over there and give me a follow at the frolicking fern my giveaway is still happening until the 9th of march for our last month side by side so you can go check out that video as well i'll put that down in the description but yes i'm giving away quite a few special beautiful things for my last month's boxes that i just know that i'm not going to be able to like really get the full full use out of and like be able to enjoy i want to say enjoy because i like I can totally enjoy them. I just know that somebody else would be able to work with those tools more than I I could and like actually get their full potential and use out of them. So yes, go check that out. I will be doing another one at the end of this month as after I'm done with all my unboxings. And what else? Yeah, follow, follow me and subscribe if you like what I am doing and you enjoy watching my videos. It really helps me because I'm just now starting to grow and I really like just absolutely love all of you that want you know take the time out of your day to watch my videos it means the world to me it really does and um I honestly never thought we would be where we are now in our honey coven um this quickly too like you guys are all so amazing so thank you so much um and yes, I love you all blessed be bye Thank you.